Chagulanyi Sentam, Robert Bobby Wine, a president, Orwale Rasazeo, atule mu final, mu final touches, uh, kubango unako rencha, agenda kuba mbalala, ukutani kwa kutalage guanga Uganda. Orwale ronu watude, neba muvabulaya, ababa muwa, ensimbi, abazunguwe, aba imiliza Australia genu. Ngamba banda Uganda, ababa kunonga viganye, neba gendo kuwe chelo mawanga gevulayo, kunonye ensimbi, abe bazunguwe, aba imiliza Australia go, ila bagalo kulaba Uganda ya wenge tede, ilako, neba na Uganda, Uganda abali ya Uganda bona abatuzi zolo chuiko runene yoruama anjigagade okuteme mpenda wabagenda okufasitating a strugeno ate bagenda okulaba antino bagenda kukula chibuli mo okulaba anga strugene guka agamba unako urencho lutandika wabagenda okumalo ketu leguanga Uganda gaba na Uganda bona bali mchibuga Kampala ate chibwere ntebe muntebe agamba kuno sibi akusaga sibi amanyo wenu era kati ulichimunchi ino kule wate murujude buli mama nyeche chigendo kule wa buli muna Uganda abirenga ngali aweke chaya gala bana Uganda nti be banyige be change be kalaka se mudembe bacho government ya mwa 7 agambo lwalero kuno uh, kwe kuogera kwe okusemba yo ngali mu ruchiko mu nchiko byo kutula wansi mu nchiko ebidiride byo nabi gena kuba bya mu field kuluana gana struggle paka ntebe mu ntebe nga atamazo kulaida wali okololo kale no olukunga uh, nalo no lunene gagadde lwetabiddwa mba na Uganda bakubibeche yo kuva mawanga agenja ulogo naba tudaka ungezi kalero okogera kuno mukulembeze chakulanyi center mu Robert Bobby Wine okuteme mpenda engeri atu uh, eno jegendo okutambula era jegendo okumalirizamu nga mwa mu 7 afulumye gwanga Uganda either nga mukwate ICC mukute oba either nga avude mu mirembe na agende rashtula na umula abyo nabye bili mukutese wa ko lwalero Nengeri bana Uganda chichewa ino kola Okutani kano na korencha Okulaba angakuru na kulio luwaka marilizo Chagula nyingazo kutalake guanga Uganda Bagena chuma lila antebe muntebe Nkusaba unega teko Agwe aduwa detali mu meeting eno Nawe mkutuwale o ingide mu meeting eno Ulirebi ogeru wako Ulirebi tesedua kukubanga vino sibi achama Bia alali bia dala Sibi ya kukweka nti atebi ya gula mundu Tino kukweka mm -mm. Wabula bia dala bia musana Mwino kutamlanga mbimanyi Kukubanga gwe muna Uganda na Noli, fetu ino kuchikola, ukulanga utileze guanga lia fe, kuruwa na bafe, wetu zade na wazu kuru bafe, basuluku ya gadila monsenu unchikali. Chagulanyi, Senta Moon, Robert, Bobby Waini, Presidenti, Gwetulina E. Children and our grandchildren, they are going to be very proud uh, uh, for the work you've done. Everyone is very proud of you. We the Ugandans, we, can, we can't thank you enough. And we can never ever repay you back for the great work you've done. But just know that the people of Uganda love you so much. The microphone is yours, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, thank you very much. I hope uh, you comrades can now see me and hear me very well. Yes, Mr. President, I, I also wanted to squeeze in a humble appeal that those yes, 35 please. minutes that you were clocked on do not count. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Hamad. Actually, uh, you know, I endeavor to keep time because I knew I, were, I was uh, dealing with the Bamo Babula, yeah? I got you this time because uh, I was there quite on time. But anyway, uh, I will uh, love to be with you comrades for as long as I am able to. Uh, thank you very much for having me. And uh, I want, first of all, to begin by thanking all of you in a very, very special way, our comrades in the diaspora, you are doing an amazing job. While you are thanking us for only being here in Uganda and playing our humble part, but you are playing a big, big part, friends. You must remember that we appreciate you. It is largely the diaspora that uh, supported the people power movement from inception. You supported the national unity platform for the time that it has been in existence. But most importantly and honorably, you comrades supported and sponsored our presidential uh, campaign, the whole of it. We did not lack a thing. We are yes glad that uh, the people of Uganda were coming to us, not for the money, so we did not uh, have to uh, need quite a lot of money. But for every need that we had from posters, banners, fuel, transportation, facilitation, and the bail, constant bails that you've been paying for the people, uh, our comrades in the struggle before, during, and after the campaign. We thank you very much. Thank you. I salute you, Comrade Haman Aineviona, and the entire leadership of the diaspora. Thanks for the leadership. Thanks for keeping the hope alive. 
I, in a special way, want to salute still uh, the medical team in the diaspora. Uh, you, Madam Dorothy, um, and others, you have done a great, great job uh, here on the ground. I interacted recently, like I've been doing from time to time with our comrade, uh, Jonan at Singwize, Mosao Adija. You friends are doing a great deal. You have treated all the uh, abduction victims. You've treated the comrades that were beaten, bruised, and tortured during and after the campaigns. I was informed that uh, we, more than 100 million worth of treatment has gone to uh, the comrades. Some of them are in uh, Kasokoso, others are within Kampala and outside Kampala. You all watched how uh, a young man called uh, Segawa Ronald, who was gravely tortured, was treated and indeed recovered by you friends. I know that uh, more than 30 million was spent on uh, another comrade called Uguzige Masudi, who was shot in the mouth. We couldn't have done this, comrades, without you. So we salute you. You've continued uh, to even look after the families of those that are, you know, bruised, those that were maimed, and those that are in prison. Uh, I know that uh, we lost some of the comrades that you've been treating. For example, a brother called Fabian from uh, Arua, you treated him, spent a lot of money. Unfortunately, he succumbed to his torture wounds, but you played a huge role. You continue to play a huge role. I'm informed that teams are being supported by you. Continuously visit our comrades that are incarcerated, those in Chitalia, those in Mpichi, those in Masaka, those in Chigo and various places. I want you to know that it is your generous donations that keep us going. Every time we are about to give up, we look behind and we see you and then we get reason to fight on. So remember you such a powerful wind beneath our wings and continue to support us. Continue to support the people in Uganda. Continue to support the struggle because according to us, with your support, the struggle is just beginning, I can tell you. Um, we know that uh, even when you've, uh, you know, fundraised, hardly uh, sacrificed your hard-earned money, every here and there, there has been cases of uh, dishonesty. There has been cases of uh, some of uh, the people that we work with in the struggle, you know, not directing those funds for directly for the struggle. But these are things that we are trying to fix. These are things that we are trying to streamline so that whatever you offer, goes to what it's supposed to do and it adds on this struggle for freedom and liberty in Uganda today. Uh, I've taken quite a, uh, a while to address your friends, but again, it was very important for me to thank our platform, uh, deliver the appreciation. And this appreciation I'm not delivering only on my behalf. But for those people that we visit in the hospitals, in the prisons, they send us to appreciate you. And I want to deliver those uh, messages. Also, um, about two and a half hours ago, I was talking to Comrade Sejirinya. He has been uh, flown to Nairobi for treatment. He was in his ears as you saw him. I didn't have opportunity and enough time to have a conversation with him of uh, the conditions that he had to go through. But looking at him, he we continue to pray for him um, to get better and get back to the front line. The struggle must continue. Um, let me also speak of our struggle. Friends, while we are appreciating you for the support in the first phase, like I told you some time ago, our struggle just got on to another phase. This is not yet over. We won this election and the people of Uganda must get justice, must get electoral justice. The will of the people of Uganda must reign supreme. That's why I'm always quick to assert that friends, this is not the business as usual. Um, we continue 
to you know, reject the imposed dictatorship of General Museveni. And we continue to try to use all you know, avenues that we can. I will not go through into so much of the call that we made for the demonstrations, but I salute especially you friends in the diaspora that have gone on to peacefully demonstrate against uh, the dictatorship in Uganda. I was uh, watching on social media, watching comrades like uh, Patricia Seungo in London, watching your friends in South Africa, in America, in London, and all over the world. I salute you. Thank you for continuously pushing for what's right. While many of you say we inspire you, you indeed inspire us. Please continue promoting and participating in the peaceful demonstrations. Nonviolence works. The dictatorship in Uganda has never been so scared. It is because of your activities that you are seeing resolutions like the one that was announced by the United States government of denying um, visas to the uh, some of the uh, people only in human rights violations, but in election rigging, in the undermining us. It is to communicate to us that we indeed were right, and the world sees that we are right, and even these development partners are not only seeing it, but they are asserting it, albeit in a subtle way, that this is a gym is receiving visa restrictions from the United States for undermining democracy, for rigging the elections that is supposed to communicate uh, by the United States and we continue to push to ensure that the world sees General Seveni's regime for what it is and indeed to see that the world does something. These might seem like baby steps, but comrades, we are progressing. Let us keep pushing. Let us keep uh, agitating. Let us keep supporting every effort. Um, agitate on social media. Agitate wherever we can. We also continue to encourage our people, as some of you have seen, while um, the regime is extremely brutal and uses brute force for every political challenge that they face. Um, I want to uh, remind you of a saying by Chinu Achebe that since the shooters have learned to shoot without missing, the birds have learned to fly without patching. So um, since the Museveni dictatorship has learned to disrespect all rights, the people of Uganda have learned to do it in a rubber dub style. I've been driving around uh, town and you'll find graffiti all over the walls demanding for the freedom of our political prisoners, demanding for um, a re-evaluation, uh, for demanding for an audit of this election, demanding for various things. So we also have encouraged the people of Uganda, each one to do everything they can. These seem like small, non-violent and non-consequential uh, actions, but when we put them together, friends, we are going to get what the nation has always been wanting. We are not alone in this world. You have seen the citizens of Myanmar protesting against a brutal dictatorship. While these dictators want to use violence to intimidate people, crush people's wills, and ensure that they make bad lessons of those that they are to speak out, still ultimately in the end, they fall. So we want to salute you for supporting us, for supporting that idea, but most importantly, friends, for taking charge, for doing your part. We appreciate it. I also want to give a, a brief update, friends, on uh, what has been ongoing. I am sure that you people in the diaspora are actually always attentive. Many times something happens and it's the people in the diaspora that are communicating it back home. So I will not uh, take so much time which we would have otherwise used for interaction to take you through what has been happening, which you've been following. However, I just recently, I just uh, 
in a short while ago, posted on my Facebook um, the seven resolutions that we came to in the two day retreat that we had in Jinja, uh, where we met um, the three organs of the party, the National Executive uh, Committee, NEC, um, the Parliamentary Caucus with all our members of parliament and the local government caucus, which consists of our local government chairpersons and division mayors. So with that friends, I thank you. Uh, I look forward to hear from you, like it was mentioned. I don't just want to talk to you. I want to hear from you. I want to also feed from your cup of wisdom comrades and we want to get comments from you. Uh, Madam moderator, I thank you very much for the opportunity. I thank all of you friends for being part of this. For you that are on Facebook, um, watching us and other medias, we thank you, continue using it. I'll remind you that Facebook is effectively closed in Uganda because General Museveni fears free speech. He fears Ugandans that speak out. I mean, we are a generation that is not intimidated by, by his guns anymore. And we have smart ways of communicating. But as you've been following here in Uganda, we have to use um, VPN to, uh, to access Facebook. Shamefully enough, General Museveni just uh, yesterday or the other day uh, mentioned that he is not going to allow concerts to happen in Uganda and uh, advised artists to have online concerts. Now, that switched off, that first of all, uh, put a tax on social media to limit its accessibility. And as if that's not enough, since uh, a few days before the election was switched off and looks like there's no intention of switching it back. Why? Because it's interactive. It offers a platform for the people of Uganda to speak out against the Museveni vices. Now, this is the same person that is advising to stage shows. But anyway, we can go on and on and on about Museveni. However, right now, we look at Museveni as history and we look at ourselves as the future. So I thank you, Madam Moderates, for being part of this. Let the party begin. Uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, Your Excellency, uh, for, uh, for the wonderful words you've said to us. Uh, comrades, uh, our colleagues in the struggle, uh, we are going to give you a chance to ask a question. But when you come, you say, your name, for example, you say that um, Kasat Rashid calling from London. And my question is, President, are you going to drive your car again? Something to be straight on the point. Uh, before I give the mic to Honorable Rebecca Naba, um, uh, uh, President, some people think just want to, to know how are you health wise and the First Lady, uh, before I give the mic to, to Naba to take up the questions. We'll be taking four questions that the President will be coming in to answer. Uh, so, and our four blinds going to be helping us to jot them down in case uh, we skip any. Uh, but, uh, on our president, people they just want to know because you know that you've, beat, you've been beat, sleepless nights. People, you and the first lady on the first family, how are you generally? Thank you very much for the kind question. First, how am I? I'm alive. Thank you. <laughs> I am well. I thank God I am well. And uh, um, give me a second, Mama. Kindly come and say hello to the people. You need to convince them that you are all right. I don't want to be the one to speak for her. Allow me to invite the First Lady for just a few seconds to say hello to us. Hi. It's an oh, honor to what be a beautiful <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor no to be here and to hear what you're talking about. I'm attending from the background as always, but I really personally appreciate all the work that you do, especially the leaders of um, the leaders who are situated in the diaspora. You energize us. You have been our support system. You do not know how much work you do for the struggle and for Ugandans who want better. I just want you to know that we really, truly appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for looking after our president. 
not I appreciate it. it. Sure. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Dr. Kassat. Oh, well, uh, we shall go straight to the reason as to why we're here, because people sure. want yeah, to we, uh, interact okay. with the president. We have over 59 people who want to say something, but I also want to remind the finance secretaries to please uh, drop the bank account numbers in the chat room so that people in your chapters can go ahead and start the donation. Uh, without further ado, I'll pick the first person. I see Brenda Nassali. If I call your name three times and you don't reply, then we shall go to the next one. And we shall be taking four questions and uh, the president will be answering. Okay, uh, Brenda Nassali. By the, by the Honorable Nava, uh, anyone who can, can ask in any language will interpret. Yes. These ideas because of a language barrier. Sure. So, uh, Brenda Nasali, if at all you can come in, you can unmute yourself. Otherwise, we'll go to the next person. Um, Namugani Farida, wherever you are, could you please come in? Uh, just a kind reminder, please don't forget the names you're using here because we might call you and you won't remember your name maybe, uh, please. And we have limited time. So uh, Derek Tebusweke, I'm unmuting you now. Please come through with your question. Thank you. Thank you, co-host. Uh, I'm Derek Tebusweke. I'm from Japan. I just have a few words to the president. I just want to... to to assure you that, uh, well, there are many diversions coming up, but I, 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 I assure you that you have to be confident and strong. They might switch us from the main purpose, but we have to stick to the main goal in that we have to achieve, to, 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 to chase two goals at, a, at, at once. First of all, building party structures and also claiming our victory in the recent election. We shouldn't lose track on those two goals. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Uh, do you have a direct question to the president or you just wanted to advise? Ah, the direct question to the president is, what are his concerns about the car that is being inspected by the the, 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 the regime? Okay, yeah. uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Derek Tebusweke. Uh, we shall go to the next question. Um, I see someone called uh, Boss Lady. Can you come in, please? I'm unmuting you right now. Power Diaspora Coordinator. What's up, Uh, we shall go to the next person. I, I call you once, twice, then we go to the next person. Um, Hello. Uh, uh, moderator, can I have a request? The people you've called have not responded. Can, can we put their hands down so that we get uh, a, a kind of, uh, we see who is through and not? Because if they keep their hands up, then we'll be going back to the same people. Is it okay? Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello, boss lady. Yes. Can you just shoot to the question? Um, Bala Mutsizako. Bamikwan, Banya, we never say over Nangans and San Yusenio, O'Clark, President Tuangan, Sinzilla, and Dubai, Gandim Clem Beze, which miniature NUP, Dubai, UAE, Banangan Dim San Yufunio, Oku joining Avantunga, Mwen, O'Clark, President Tuangan, Robert Chagulan Saint Amu, the Mwagaliza Wagaliza Vilunji, Mukamam to Kumide, Kwanga to Mwagala Mulamu. Chichibuzo Changi, Chamoto, kind president, who get moto and Jaya to thank you so much, boss lady. Uh, we shall go to the next person. Uh, Alan Nils, I'm unmuting you now. And please, if at all we called you and you didn't come up, just lower your hand down. And if yes, someone... I am. Yes. Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm for jumping in, uh, comrades. I am also going to ask uh, comrades Joel, comrades Tony, and the other co-hosts to be watching those hands, the names you speak. Uh, we can lower those hands. Um, also, we can work on removing some people 
who are at the bottom yes. of yeah, the yeah. meeting um, and don't uh, have audio access so that we can let other people in who can use audio and engage the principal. But thank you very much. Okay, which name did you call Nava? Uh, Alan Nils. You can yeah, unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah, here I am. Okay. Of course, here I am. Uh, tell us your name and your question to the I'm president. I'm here to congratulate you guys that are good. My name is Alan Nils. You're getting me? Yes, yes, you are here. yes. My question is, is there any hope of when you assume you're not in the now once it comes to design is the land means Raka Luka and Iraka Numa. Was so can you family you now? That Wagara to no dom pulling the zero, a Kalukang, a canuma, Puya Ubumi, Simancha, Pola, the nut away stationary you now, Cheva and out sing, the nut sing. To our room, pulling the zero, a penny to sing. It is a catija in a chuse or stable numa. It is so it was a chan can you repeat your question? We did get it. Echibuzo Changi. A Karu Kang, while you went take at it, Nayu Nayu Najinza Kafun and Kavam Wandi Kuanga. Thank you so much. Your, your question is good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's get um, another person, Juliet Mission 2021, Netherlands. Yeah, Kanolo Montwe Netherlands, Jendi, that's my chapter member. Julia 2021. Yeah, I'm on. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, Mr. President, for being with us today and for being our Mandela. And I'm Namosi Juliet on behalf of Netherlands Stroke Belgium chapter. And we have a few questions for you, sir. Um, is there any quick off plan for you to visit Europe soon? Because some officials from the Dutch government and EU are waiting for you. And what kind of pressure is not putting on a dictator regime to ensure that it doesn't legitimize the victory they stole from us? Thank, uh, thank you, you so much. Hold on, let's take one more question. Two are kind of similar. Yes. Yeah, if you could um, tweet anyone. Uh, can we get, let me see, uh, James Omoni. Yes, uh, you can ask yourself. James Omoni. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, thank you so much. My question goes direct to Honorable, uh, uh, His Excellency Chaplain. James, sorry, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, the dictator is using, I'm called James Omoni, and I'm asking that dictator uses force. How shall we be able to defeat a blood thirsty man like that by simply use of peace? Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. I think those are the four questions. Uh Dr. Kasato, you're muted. Oh, uh, uh, you're my apologies. I, I think we can invite the president to respond to those uh, four questions. Honorable uh, Bobby Wayne? Yes, please. Uh, when I don't see myself on the screen, sometimes I get worried that. Uh, you know, seeing me, hopefully you are comrades. We are, I, 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 can you see yourself Thank on you. the screen now? Sure, I can. Thank you very much. Um, quite a, a few people asked whether or not I'm going to drive uh, my car again, the one that is being uh, inspected at the authority. Well, uh, once again, thank you, friends, very, very special. Thank you for having ideas, amazing ideas, but not only stop having them, but pursuing them and accomplishing them. Uh, the first day 
that we survived gunshots in Jinja during the campaign uh, trail. It started from you and it was suggested uh, that you purchase a bulletproof cuff for me. Of course, it seemed far-fetched, unbelievable, and uh, I didn't even pursue it. But again, when we survived gunshots two other times, little did I know that uh, some, uh, while we have we, uh, of the outspoken comrades, there are those that are, are not uh, outspoken, that are silent, but actually have our struggle at heart. So you did it, you uh, went through yourselves, fundraised, and bought that car and sent it. Not only bought it, but facilitated us in the payment of its taxes, and we indeed paid all the taxes. You also, um, using smart but legal ways, we were able to clear that car and have it. I was using it, feeling like, you know, all uh, dictatorships behave. They have no respect for the laws whatsoever. Um, General Seveni using Uganda Revenue Authority, like he has been using all institutions of state, um, recalled that car. Without giving any justification, we try to uh, ask for an injunction from court. But again, you know what General Museveni has done to all our courts, all our systems. So they insisted that uh, we return the car for re-evaluation. We uh, complied and indeed the car is at Uganda Revenue Authority. Aware that uh, that uh, our car because dying uh, in suspicious ways, we have every reason to worry. But again, like we always say, God is stronger than all the forces of evil. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there, whether we have any hope. <laughs> is there any hope? My brother, my sister, the most valuable thing that you can lose is hope. The most powerful thing that you can possess is hope. We live on hope, knowing that hope is much stronger than any kind of steel chain. So we are hopeful. We are hopeful because our hope keeps materializing every day. While we must face a few setbacks, while we must face a few challenges, I'll quote our President Obama. He said, even in the face of insurmountable challenges, people who love their country can change it. We have hope because what we're doing is right. It is moral, it is legal, it is noble. We have hope because everywhere we've been and everywhere we go, the people of Uganda support us massively. We have hope because uh, the dictator, what they're doing is illegal. What we're doing is legal. The law is on our side. We have hope because the almighty God, Allah, is on our side. So we have hope. And I encourage you to have hope because hope is the most important thing you need. And please keep the hope alive. We indeed have hope. Um, why do we have hope? Because all these dictators seem invincible, but in the end, they fall. In no particular order, but they fall. General Museveni could not rig the election to the heights that he had been rigging. That shows that even in rigging, he is overpowered. He will fall. I will remind you that uh, Omar um, uh, um, Hosein Mubarak, had apparently won that election with uh, was it 88.6. That was Hosein Mubarak in Egypt. But a few months later, he fell. Just this neighbor on 70, uh, Omar El Bashir in, in Sudan, he had purportedly won with 94.5 of the election. Months later, he fell. Let us just read from the recent history and learn from the people that have done it. That's why I have hope. I have hope because I know I'm not alone. Look at all of you friends. 
sparing your precious time pursuing this because you know it is achievable and you know that we have nothing else to do. Failure is not an option for us. We are invested in Uganda. This is where our great, great grandparents are buried. This is all we have. All of you that are in the diaspora, you badly want to come home. So failure is not an option for us. We must win and we will win. So we have hope and you too keep the hope alive. Another friend asked me, uh, what kind of pressure are we putting up against a dictator? Every kind of pressure. And we welcome much more pressure. We welcome much more ideas. We've told you, brothers and sisters, that we are not here simply because we are the most qualified. No, we are here because we are committed. And we are committed because we are, we are desperate. We want to be free. And this freedom is worth dying for. So we are putting up every kind of pressure, legal pressure. We are using all fronts, petition all courts. We are putting up civil pressure, civil action, demonstration, peaceful protests. We are petitioning development partners and our international uh, organizations. We petitioned the United Nations. We have uh, petitioned the International Criminal Court. We have, uh, uh, you know, we have uh, communicated and written to development partners, and they are responding. They might not be responding, but persistence breaks resistance. Like I told you just yesterday, uh, the United States issued visa restrictions, and we think that is a good step in the right direction. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. President, for uh, the reply you've given them. So we shall go ahead and call in more questions. Uh, special thanks to the chapter leaders, the finance secretaries who are posting the bank accounts in the chat. Please, uh, people who are attending, go ahead and chip in something. Everything that will be collected tonight is going to the welfare department. And uh, to continue with the questions, I see Lukwago, Geoffrey Sentumba. Honorable Naba, before they come in, uh, maybe we'll ask, as you said, we ask our finance uh, ministers to, uh, to post the, our bank details in the chat rooms. You guys, as you heard that, so many of our comrades are sick. We have got Honorable Segirinya, the Mr. Appleton, he's sick. So many are in prison, others have died, others have been maimed. So, they, they rely on people like us. They are, they are our food leaders, and we are behind there to make sure that we we'll never desert them. Like Liverpool people say, they will never walk alone. We will always walk with them. So let us walk with them uh, by donating whatever we can to ensure that they get better treatment. They get babes out of the prison. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Honorable Rebecca, uh, could we now go actually there's something, there was a question regarding visiting Europe. I was jotting something. I don't know whether it was addressed. Someone did ask when the president is starting his international tours. I don't know, maybe, maybe we can bring it uh, next time. We when can bring it, comes it yeah, to the please. next session. Uh, Lukwago uh, Jeffrey, you, yes. you can you bring your question. Thank you so much. My name is Lukwago Jeffrey Setumba. I am in Israel now as a student. Um, my question is, uh, do we have any plan to make sure that uh, the party activities and all the struggle activities stick on the ground within the populations? Because yes, we are doing all our best. I came in Israel shortly uh, after the elections and on ground, we lacked sometimes people to mo mobilize us on ground back in home, at home in Uganda. So. Do we have a plan to make sure that we have coordinators on the ground that make sure that people believe in the message, people, people pass on the message to another, a second person? Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Lukwago, for being straight to that question. Yes, uh, Dr. Kasachi, you were saying something? I believe we have got coordinators. Ordinary people are our coordinators. We have put on the ground. That's why we managed even to win the elections. But thank you so much. We'll see what the president will have to say about that. Yes, Honorable Rebecca. Uh, Genevieve Nabosa, could you come in, please? Hello. Gene yeah. Hello. Because, yes, we are doing our best. 
Kangendeze kufatono wano device nyingi ziwuliza president wangi. President, uh, thank you so much. Um, Chala Genevieve in a boss, she was a child of such to say, what president, you know, thing in the we shall go to the next person. Uh, can we have a name of mommy? Fred, could you unmute yourself? Yes, hello, Madam Rebecca. Let me okay, let me put it Yes, hello, Madam Rebecca. Hello, everyone. I'm glad. Can you hear me? We can yes, hear you. We do. I'm glad. My name is Joseph Fred, based in Dubai, UA chapter. Please, uh, we thank the president for giving us this opportunity at least to speak to him. My question is, uh, as Nook chapter, we know that we lack funds, but there are people on the ground who are doing groundwork. How are we doing this to see that there are facilitated. Remember right now, Uganda, people are not working. Those who are working, there's no money right now, everything is down. So on the ground, like last time we had Muda Muda, I think we can have a project that can be bringing in some little that will be facilitating the ground work. Hope my question is clear. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so Please. much. Please, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, guys, uh, after asking your question, if you could put, please put your hand down uh, so that okay. we don't use you again. Yes. Yes, Honorable now, uh, Rebecca, how many? Those are two questions, I think. Yes, those are two questions. It's crazy. Like I have, uh, there are over 134 questions for the president, but due to time, I'm just doing uh, randomly, picking randomly. Uh, let me and, see. And I Rebecca, maybe we choose a plan if you may try to balance them. Sorry? Uh, could we choose a lady and a gentleman? Like, yes, try to uh, balance. Yeah, uh, Grace Namale. Please unmute yourself, Grace Namale. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes we, we can. Do. Yeah, so my name is Grace Namale um, from the south southeast of England. Um, my, uh, my question to our president, by the way, uh, congratulations for, you know, being elected the president of Uganda. Now, your president was say, avant to be car to gain the buckle that she over. How can you encourage them? Kubanga, wabagamba, uguyinza, uguziza, mikono jam. Never, never live ever say. So what's your next plan? How can you encourage them Baveyo to claim their victory? To demand for, you know, for the re releasing of the, you know, son's uh, husband's ETC. Bambi abachala bali batono. Nayenga abantu beba se, so clear to encourage them to you know ask for their or demand actually for their uh, victory thank you very much namali namali before you go what do you want the president to do about that do you have any suggestion no, um, no 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 i'm asking him you've asked me to ask him a question that okay, one more you, what more can he do to Thank encourage so them? 
Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, um, Chala Namale, for that question. Uh, can we have Paul Ocheng? Please un unmute yourself, Paul Ocheng. After your question, then the president will come in. Otherwise, we shall have uh, Bobby Ogola. Bobby Ogola. Yeah. Yes. Um, Sanseño Kubera Namwe and um, Ambassador of Sweden. I would like to congratulate my president being the president elect. And I'm also delighted to be part of the, uh, for his win, because I managed to make it to, Sweet to, to Uganda to vote. And uh, yeah, I was very excited. And uh, unfortunately, we, we were robbed of our, our victory. So I would just comment on, on the point which Grace Namali made. And I think I would just answer what Dr. Rashid was asking her. Uh, I think, let's be honest, we registered a number of people. And I think we're blessed to have tons of uh, members, yeah? We need to do some coverted uh, messaging to get people aware that we need to go out and re demand our victory. That's pretty much it. And the other thing which I would think, um, at least from the diaspora side of things, is that we need to get, uh, we need to be told by the people on the ground, what can we what can we support them? What is achievable, at least in the short run? That's my submission. Uh, thank um, you so much, Rebecca. I think those are kind of four submissions. Uh, by the way, people on the ground, as you hear, I know we are in diaspora. Uh, they get beaten, they get shot dead, many are uh, in prison, in hospital. One of the things we can do for them is to give whatever little you have. We are sharing our bank accounts in the, the, uh, in the chat there. Oh, that's all what they need because for us, we can't be there physically, uh, but for them, our frontline soldiers, they need our financial support and prayers. Rebecca, maybe could we call them pray for us? Yes, sir. Chiyoke ni mbani nga chitake mja si murugana katuno nyonyo, uruwaba antama tege ya ruzungu nganze, urukambi uroko zeseza. Choba do tege zako tu gamba sebo, nchiba nai, walu wabantu wabalu wa diva anjinyo, wabantu wabali makomera, wabantu wabeta go kutia anjabibwa, Bemuma nyiko beba tunodala. Abanja hawa singa tabali na bugerebo. Bali dale e umunda. Tupai tukeza kuchu tufula fena 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 nga hawa hantu. Ni principal gumula buwe ya kwata monsa uye. Akasente kawakuna wana kashari nga na yamba hawa hantu. Ngai mwaji angaluli inga tulimu kuno nya kaluru. Ni mwaji amba. Nagunu kube mwurimu ato ugafe. Tuekateko. Tukwatile wamu. Bobo ina kasente kwa ina. Kakawe katono ikatia. Kwa ina chapta mwoli. Kateke yu, kayabugu kayamba. Nyoba ngoi na request yonu gama chesente zange ndaka zikende wa Mr. Update. Tuja chukola na yengu yangi. Tuyanza nyoto yanze. Ginawe na kabuza kange, nendo za njaku kabuza kusushu. Ndako ah, yu, kawane la lidema. Yes, afo mbani. Kwa sebaneja, kuteka mtesika Uganda, katono nyo, katono nyo da chikabili, meanza nyo neanze, gorecho. Afo mbani, where are the, uh, the bank accounts? Because people are asking, uh, if you could just exactly. get to, we share them on the screen or... Tony will come because yes. Um, yes, Tony, Tony will come, but in the chat room, in the chat room, I think every chapter is dropping in, they're dropping in their back accounts. I see Sweden is there, uh, Netherlands is there, uh, UK is there. So we have all the, the coordinators for all those chapters. Please put in whatever you can. And I think they will also put the number for the Ugandan, the Ugandan um, welfare lady team in the chat room. I think Dorothy will do that. So that people in Uganda can also contribute directly to that number. It will help uh, a lot. What I suggest, maybe we get official message from Haman, because anyone in the chat room can put their, their number, mobile money number. It's just... <laughs> no, we are, we, are monitor, we are monitoring that. We are monitoring that. Um, it might be right. too late. So uh, I suggest we get our, uh, is it Tony or Haman, or Honorable Kasimu Sereko, uh, or Shifra, to put our official bank details there so that people, because we have a duty of care, uh, we have a duty to make sure that all their money is, um, doesn't 
go in the wrong hand. Okay. 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 If you would like to invite the president to respond to those few questions. Uh, yes, uh, I would like to invite uh, Honorable Robert Chagulani to give in his submissions to the questions that have been uh, asked by the participants tonight. Yes, Bobby, Honorable uh, Chaglan. Um, so is, I think, yes. Yeah. Apologies, apologies, comrades. Uh, I was having some uh, technical challenges here. Now, I was asked when uh, we are going to have our international tours. That is yet to be. Uh, arranged uh, i find myself with uh, quite a lot uh, of work here as you know many of our people get motivated when our comrades visit them but when i visit them they get even much more motivated and uh, it has been um, my routine to visit comrades especially those in hospital and in prison also allow me inform you that uh, Myself, uh, the sec our Secretary General, Mr. David Lewis, Comrade Joel Senyonyi, and uh, a few other uh, leaders like Honorable Derek Nyoko and others were actually blocked from uh, accessing our comrades in Chitalia. Why? The reason we're given is we exposed. The field and the uh, expose what our people are going through, and we don't. So we've been um, quite uh, busy and uh, meeting various leaders. So we will be informing you, of course, comrades, about our next international uh, travels. Of course, the COVID nineteen challenges have also been um, a consideration for us to hold international um, travel. We were asked about our plan to uh, spread our ideals and uh, the party activities across the country. It was one of the resolutions that uh, we came up with. And uh, after this uh, meeting, maybe uh, you comrades can check out the details on my on my Facebook. I just uh, posted them, uh, but we have fruits even further because we know that everywhere people are you know harboring NUP and people power ideals but we need to connect with them uh, build our structures further to the lowest and uh, uh, open up our regional offices and then uh, sub-regional offices that's part of our uh, strategy and with your support I'm sure we'll achieve it. Now, one sister asked about propaganda <laughs> being a challenge, but I'll tell you the new effort by the Museveni regime to divert us, to divide us, and to derail us. And those who fall victim, of course, uh, they fall victim to it. I've told you before that when you're fighting the dictator, you fight with one hand because the other hand has to, again, be fighting off comrades that are uh, stopping you from fighting the dictator. And that's part of the challenges that we've been getting um, to see that uh, some comrades actually allow the dictatorship to use them because we know that if we are for a better Uganda, a new Uganda, then we need to direct all our efforts, all our moral weapons to the dictatorship. We are not each other's enemy. For a comrade to invest a lot of time and effort to discredit uh, a fellow comrade, you know, speaks uh, volumes. I'm not saying that we are not to hold each other accountable. It is very important to hold each other accountable, but let's be leaders. It is not our place uh, to know who is a spy and who is not. We see each other by our thoughts because God created us in such a way that we cannot see the souls. 
but we uh, judge each other, sorry, not by the thoughts, but, but by our actions, because we cannot see the thoughts. So whatever we do has to be geared on weakening the Museveni dictatorship and ultimately breaking it. So anybody that does actions or speaks words that weaken the Museveni dictatorship, that unite us more, that push our agenda of freeing Uganda, that is a comrade. It doesn't matter whether or not they are a part of the political party you belong to. It doesn't matter whether they are from your tribe or gender, but for as long as they're shooting into the direction of the enemy, those are allies, those are comrades. And anybody who is, instead of shooting uh, in the direction of uh, the enemy, the dictator, is shooting towards a comrade, even if they're wearing a beret like mine, that's an enemy. It's important that we know that. That's the best way we're going to deal with what we call propaganda. I call it um, state machinations, because that has happened in the past. General Museveni uses the same playbook that all dictators use, the same playbook that he has been using. So we must look in the recent past and see how he has been able to divide those that came before us by using them against each other. And we must not accept to be used against each other. Um, a brother is asking how we can facilitate the ground troops. Brother, that's a, a big question. But I'm glad that even before you answering that question, you are actually the ones that are facilitating us. We that are in Kampala, most of, of our businesses have been crushed and the dictator targets us. He even wonders, General Museveni has said numerously that we are sponsored by foreigners, by whites, by homosexuals, etc. etc. He is shy, he does not want to accept that this is an indigenous struggle. This is a homegrown struggle. The people of Uganda are supporting this struggle because it is their struggle. So it is you that are facilitating us. And, you know, please continue because as you can see, you've, we've come so far with you and we hope to reach so yeah, you will bear with us sometimes. I've got some connection um, issues in Uganda, but he's excited. How do we speak. encourage our people to protest and not fear? <laughs> um, people, many of them. Are... Yeah, I was trying to set a ships. What they do is try as much as possible to plant as much fear in the hearts of the citizens as possible. Of course, following the massacre, the November massacre of uh, 18th and 19th, November, 2020, uh, many people uh, were intimidated. But again, many are solid and strong. We have more than 3000 of our known comrades in prison and many other citizens are in jail. So that in a way, uh, you know, intimidates some people, but we are thankful for the people, especially the women in Uganda that continue to protest. Friends, a sprint. This is a we, op we apologize for some connection issues we are experiencing, uh, but uh, hopefully- we There keep was the time when, uh, you know, people actually did not know. Now they are aware. Uh, yes, uh, we apologize for some connection hiccup, uh, but uh, uh, it will get resolved. Uh, sometimes these are part of the struggle, they uh -huh. happen, uh, but our spirit is- I'm sorry, I get ball reception here, and as extra trucks parked outside my gate. Hmm? 
Yes, proceed, Your Excellency. Proceed, we can hear you now. Thank you. Uh, uh, apologies, comrades. Uh, allow me to also explain that uh, we always have network jammers that are driven in uh, regime trucks that park outside my gate. So I moved to uh, think that uh, they're also trying to uh, antagonize the network, but we shall move on nevertheless. I'll tell you that the momentum is building within the people and it is our duty to build it even stronger. There was a time, I'll give you an example of Sudan that uh, uh, just kicked the regime of Omar el-Bashir off. There was a time when they could not even speak to each other in the market. But ultimately, people gather the momentum and they free themselves, which I'm sure people will soon do. Uh, thank you so much, Your Excellency uh, and comrades, everyone who is here. Uh, by the way, uh, people, we, we are asking, how are we going to help people in Uganda? Really, every day, if you watch the news in Uganda, mothers are crying. Their sons and daughters have been whisked away. Uh, our legal team, they need money to pay for the bail to visit our colleagues in prison. Uh, many women in Uganda, they spend sleepless nights, not knowing where their loved ones are. Many have lost their husbands, their sons and daughters in the name of freedom for Uganda. It is people, you and me who are here, who can give them hope by donating whatever you can, even if it's just $1 or one pound. People in Uganda like Bobby Wai and others, they have done their role, they have paid whatever they can afford to pay. We appreciate that we all of us have paid something, but our support is still needed. The accounts are in our chat room, please, uh, comrade. Let us stand uh, together with them. Let us not uh, abandon them at this critical time. Thank you, Indeed. Honorable Rebecca, if you can proceed with the questions, please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Casato. And I want to question, uh, to question just uh, the people in the chat. Please ignore the centenary, centenary bank number with uh, Derek Senyondo. Uh, that number has not been vetted by the finance department. Please ignore it. And for the co hosts, if at all people continue to post their mobile numbers, personal mobile numbers, please remove those people in the chat from Wangabela of Dokumulama. Our official account number in Uganda is in uh, ABSA Bank. And the account number is 600-699-3883. Uh, the account name is National Unity Platform. I expect someone to post it into the chat, uh, but we shall go ahead and get questions. Can we have, I've seen people in the chat saying, please uh, pick also people from Africa, but I can't really tell who is from Africa and, and who is not. Uh, but let me just continue with the random uh, pick. Uh, Katumba G, please, can you come in? Okay, uh, thank you so much. Um, um, I'm a journalist. Um, you bear with me. I won't mention uh, where I'm why uh, due to security reasons because I'm in hiding. Um, I have one uh, to honorable chair. Uh, one. Um, what strategies uh, do we have um, in the proper and effective usage of the media to disseminate the, 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 the information concerning this? Um, in a country, most of the media are being compromised, and yet we need uh, to disseminate the information to the, to the entire world using the media the struggle. Uh, thank you um, so much. Thank you so much. We, we request we each ask one question to give our comrades a chance. Okay. Yeah, but thank you so much. By the way, you can okay. also bring an, uh, a suggestion uh, to the president or to the leadership. We also welcome yeah. ideas and suggestions. But thank you so much. Honorable Rebecca. Are you unmuted? Uh, okay. Um, yes, she's unmuted. Uh, Oh, sorry, uh, Winnie Nat again. Can you come in? Uh, Hello. Yes, good evening. Yes, good evening. 
Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, we love you, our president. And congratulations um, on your appointment. Cut my question is, is it possible to have an online concert as a way of fundraising some funds towards the struggle? <clears throat> okay, thank you so much. It was a brief one. Uh, where are you, Honorable Winnie? Wanji Sebo. Or Sinzi Dewa? Sebo and Sinzi Demuland, anyone? Oknava, should we proceed? Yeah, yes, we can proceed. Um, um, so thank you so much, uh, Comrade Nava and uh, Comrade Dr. Casato. I'd just like to greet everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to ask my question. This is David from uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, I'd like to say congratulations to ex Your Excellency, uh, Honorable Robert Chagulani, on your overwhelming victory. And, and I'd like to thank the support of all our comrades who enabled this victory. I have a, a very small observation and a very quick question for you, Your Excellency. Uh, you talk about all the examples of places where active people power activity has deposed of dictators, but we know that a lot of this has been uh, made possible because of people action uh, in the face of ruthless dictators going out to the streets and protesting. Uh, but we know what would happen if we did that, and we've seen that in November. We also know that foreign pressure or on, on governments plays a big role, but we know that although the United States is, has, has only recently come out to impose sanctions on particular individuals, there's still a whole billion pound, w dollars worth of military funding that goes to the regime, uh, and, and without uh, cutting that lifeline, we, we're kind of fighting with both of our hands behind our backs. Um, so my question is, uh, whilst a lot of work is being done to um, engage with foreign regimes who recognize the military junta, I wanted to understand from a secretariat point of view, NUP, and from yourself, Your Excellency, uh, what work is being done around nonviolent resistance, um, especially getting the people on the ground to withdraw their resources, which is their labor, uh, and also withdraw their funds from state-owned enterprises, state-benefiting enterprises, and also corporate entities that engage with the regime, regardless of its brutal uh, handling of human rights and complete, uh, um, um, completely devoid, devoid of any form of democratic principles. Uh, the, question, the reason why I ask this question is, and this is only a personal view, is if the millions of people who voted you into power are to be activated to do anything, whether it's action or resistance, they would only do so if that was a unifying voice coming from the center and from yourself. And I'd like to understand what is being done in the space of non-violent resistance. Thank you so much. Thank, uh, you, so thank much. you, David, for that question. Yeah. Yes, Dr. Casato, this is Haman. I apologize for jumping in. Um, and thank you, David, for a brilliant honor to uh, the principal uh, reached out and uh, informed me he they just packed network jammers towards his house, so next to his house, so there are vans um, that jam network, so he might have challenge uh, in communicating. I don't want our people to be uh, overly surprised or uh, frustrated by that. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, guys, we apologize. Uh, we are. This is a struggle and evolution. Uh, if seven is guys, they, they 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 can never defeat us. Uh, let, let's just proceed, Honorable Nava. How do you see? Uh, yes, let's keep on getting the questions, and in case the president can manage to come in, then. Yeah, we shall go ahead and um, he will go ahead and give us the answers. Uh, I see Aisha passionate. Uh, unmute yourself, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm just happy to be here with you guys once I'm hopefully more okay. All I just want to say is to tell my president here, I love 
Thanks so much. Even God knows that. I am in Saudi straight. Next again, I was Saudi before my president so has been. Jagala kuzali damu na mulembo mupia, mumu bob. Papa, jagala kuzali damu mulembo mupia. I'm gonna pray for you. Papa, I want to come on TV. Insha Allah. Salam alaikum. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Alex Mukasa, can you come in from the Kenyan chapter? Okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Comrade Nava. Uh, you asked uh, those in Africa. Yeah, I'm privileged to be from there. I'm just in the outskirts of Uganda. That's Kenya. However, I believe I've interacted more with some of the leaders. I would like to give one of my chapter members a chance, if you could. He's he's raising up his hand from the start by names of Edward Okwaro. So Alex, Yosef, do you have a question or don't? No, no, no. I want a question for get a question from the Kenyan chapter. Uh, we have a hand that has been up for long, and we are not okay. getting questions uh, from Africa. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, you know, we have so many hands up, uh, so we will try to as much as we can to make sure that we balance. Uh, Honorable Baker, if we just choose people at random uh, with no particular. Okay, uh, maybe we can get someone to note down these questions and in case the president comes back, we can just give him a summary. Uh, yes, um, uh, that's why Afro Obama is that's what he's doing and I'm also trying to uh, jot them down. And I know that Honorable Haman is also helping us wherever they are. So I think we have two questions so far. Uh, the, the third one and the fourth one were just uh, words of appreciation. Um, yes, I would you like to choose the next um, person? Because um, we just had a gentleman. I'm looking for a lady. Judith Kwamogisha. Let's see. Judith Kwamogisha, can you unmute yourself, please? Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is Judith, uh, Judith Kwamogisha from London. Hello. Um, I'm, hello. I'm not. I'm not asking any question. I just want to congratulate Bobby Wine on his winning um, for the tenth president. We love him so much. We're praying for him. And uh, my encouragement. Uh, this is a word that I've shared with and with a few people on a number of occasions. I had a dream in 2010. And the dream was Uganda coming out of slavery. Basically, it was the way we saw the children of Israel coming out of uh, slavery. They were on a journey. And um, my prayer is that um, people surrounding Bobby Wine will have a spirit of Carib because Carib went to us when they sent the spies, 10 people, out of 10 people, only two came back and said, we are well able. I pray that Uganda will have the courage, will have, will stand behind Bobby White because he can't do it on his own. And um, that's what I have to share. We love him and we pray for him. Uh, thank you so much. Someone in the chat room suggested that if we can each give like $1, one pound or 10 pound, really mm -hmm. our comrades at Uganda, uh, never as you can see, every time you see we hate to see tears of women every day. Mothers, fathers, they are burying their loved one every time. I know that we also share the pain, but they share physical and spiritual pain. So comrades, let us stand up for our country. Uganda. The money we are giving is not for Bob Wine or Louis or Senyon. It is for the people of Uganda, the ordinary citizen who had your call and they went to the polling station to cast their force to be our polling agents. And it became a criminal offense that we are hunted everywhere. And many of them, even up to now, we don't know where they are. So it is people like, uh, people like you and me who need to stand up together. Let us not abandon them. Let us be with them. Every little counts. Your one pound might bring a smile to a mother who's crying in Uganda. Honorable Rebecca, um, I think 
Uh, I was trying to check into the chat to see if I told the president is back, but uh, not yet. Maybe we can uh, have a fundraising for now. Uh, can we only uh, ask the co-hosts to please uh, lower all the hands in uh, all the hands, and we only get the hands for people who are contributing right now. Let's do something while we see if at all the technical problems can be solved. What do you think, Dr. Kasato? It's not a good, a, a bad idea, but comrades, just to let you know that we are we are in the struggle. The struggle mm -hmm. never ended with casting the votes. In a revolution, a revolution has stages. A stages where we look for the, our votes. A stages where people uh, we choose our president. A stage where the religious leaders they get poisoned. A state where by ordinary me and you they get hunted everywhere. And a state where people like you and me we say that we will never die. We we'll, we we'll, we can't retire. We uh, we can't withdraw. So. Every kind of effort, really, we welcome it. We welcome it. So although the press is now being surrounded, we're trying to make sure that he doesn't to speak to us, but I'm sure that God is going to make him to come back and speak to us. With or without Bobby Wine, really, we should be able to stand up because he is uh, in uh, technical issues because of the regime, but still we can the struggle. Yeah, he has to continue. So I think we should do as you are suggesting. Unless you can give us a Mr. Kattato and Rebecca, can I have a suggestion? Okay, yes. People are already raising their hands up. We should give them a chance to maybe to contribute first. If you're ready to contribute and your hand is up, maybe you should give a chance first, which means you had the foresight of putting your hand up because you knew what it's all about before you put the hands down. If you're not ready to contribute, you can put your hand down personally. We don't have to do it for you. So that we give people a chance who want to contribute. So we assume if your hand is up, you're ready to contribute something. Is that not fair, Rebecca? What yeah, I think it's fair. So uh, I, I see the hands are going down. And for those ones that are still up, I guess they still want to contribute. So um, let's Maybe get- Maybe uh, Haman, what's, Haman, what's your view? Um, I think whether someone wants to contribute or not, let us hear what they have got to say. Because, uh, we love them all, we are all, we are in, uh, not to cheer together. So uh, let's hear maybe what those whose hands up have got to say, then we see how we can proceed. Honor Bahaman, are you with us? Okay, now I will proceed as you've suggested. Maybe we give people uh, a chance to talk, then we see what they are saying. Okay, uh, can we have a, a Sarah Chibozi? Can you unmute yourself? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, um, my name. Yeah, I'm for, I'm I'm from Oxford. Um, oh. and I'm I'm really happy to to uh, to see our president, and we congratulate him. Uh, we see all his hard work. My thing is, anyway, for me, I always contribute. I do a direct debit on a Barclays account always, so I have no issues with contributing. My only issue, um, um my, my only issue I want to talk about is as as Ugandans, we um, we want to hear more from Bobby Wine asking him what is your step, what's your, your your next stage, what is your next step. I think that what with us, Bobby Wine is telling us that he we can be him. As me personally, right now I'm having a meeting with my MP within that because I've been bombing him with letters, letters, letters about the situation going on in Uganda. So he decided to see me face to face. And I'm meeting him on Monday. So I think as people, as in diaspora, we can do more. We can put pressure, a lot, a lot of pressure within our MPs. I'm so glad that we've got MPs who can listen to us and they can present our, our concerns to the parliament. Or maybe Boris can be able to hear or any whoever of, or, 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 or Biden. So I think the work with us has to be, we have to be really committed to do this. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to say. We have to put more pressure on our um, on our people, on our presidents, where we are, the countries where we are. Because this pressure, this is where Museveni's pockets are as well. His pockets have to be hit. You know, when someone hits your pocket, they are really hitting you, and that's what he's doing to to NUP. He's, he wants to drain every penny where it's coming from. When you see now, like you're sending money to Uganda, they are putting a lot of limits. Like, oh, you shouldn't send this. This is all Mr. Ben is doing. He doesn't want to see any money going to Uganda because he thinks the money is going to NUP. But we can do that as well. We can hit him as well. We can put pressure 
on our MPs write as many letters, do shout as many as much as possible. So that's what I wanted to say. We can be Bobby Wine as well. We can put that pressure up as well. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Uh, can we have another person, Edward Okwaro from Kenya? Yes, and Honorable about Tony, if you are anywhere, if you could please uh, be ready to come and say a word. Tony, our finance. Okay. I think I think this might be I really want to say uh, one, I want to congratulate His Excellency, uh, the elected and that we is actually the valid president we know, even as we um, in Kenya, and it's a chance. Uh, this is the ready for uh, 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, still, Mr. King. Uh, the network. Uh, sorry, I had to, uh, to mute everyone because I think we are not the, getting the uh, voices properly. So, uh, Honorable Nava, if you, if, you could still, if you could unmute the gentleman because we. Yes, I just time. did. Uh, Mr. Edward Oparo, can you come back, please? You can unmute yourself. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thanks uh, once again. Uh, one Number one, I want you people to recognize uh, this fight is not for Buganda. This fight is for Uganda. Second, I want you people to recognize that even as we are fighting for a dictator, we need to assist the, uh, the president by giving... So my opinion to the president, there is what we call a code of sabotage. Our people, most especially in Kampala, are the ones who voted for uh, His Excellency Bob White. The business in Kampala does a lot of conservative. And I know we concentrate only in the city. Once we concentrate in the central uh, region, and now being outside few, plus the diaspora, I know we are going to do much to give a pressure to the people from our nation that Kenya have lived for the last 15 years. What Kenya does is what Uganda can do. So kindly, if we can borrow from such places, then we are here to win the war. If we sit down and say, let's wait for Bob Wine to direct, I, I dare tell you people, we are going nowhere. Let's sit. Oh, th Let's uh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uh, um, oh, uh, by the way, uh, Dr. Kasato, I just learned that uh, the MP elect for Chadondo East is also with us. So I would ask him to say something. Uh, Honorable Muadam Kunyenji, uh, could you? Yes, I just unmuted you. Yes. Uh, good evening, uh, members in Uganda. It is evening. Uh, I, I hope my voice is coming in. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, I want to thank uh, the colleagues in the diaspora for, for the wonderful efforts. Uh, of course, uh, I want to give testimony that uh, as I speak now, I'm within uh, the the, 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 the the, the neighborhood of, of, of Magere. And of course, uh, when I saw the interruption, we have been touring around. There, there are some vehicles parked uh, along the road to uh, President Chagurani, especially the neighborhood, uh, which we, we, we believe are trying to intercept and jam the network with that project. But that's how the, the, the regime operates locally here. Uh, nevertheless, I would want to uh, comment uh, principally on the aspect of our colleagues in detention and their welfare. Uh, we want to commend the, the efforts of you people and colleagues in the diaspora for the efforts and support. Uh, indeed, the, uh, on the ground here, uh, 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 apart from the, those already in detention, uh, uh, the illegal uh, kidnap and arrest of especially NUP supporters, uh, people's power supporters and uh, freedom uh, uh, would, would be fighters. Uh, is, is still ongoing and, 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 and the level of insecurity and, and, and 
uh, wanton use of uh, security agencies by, by the regime to silence voices, uh, voices of uh, reason uh, is ongoing. And, and, and indeed, uh, our efforts, both of us here in, in Uganda, we are trying our best, but as well, you people out, out, out there, we, we really commend your work. With all the limitations we have here and the limitation world over, uh, we, we believe and we have had testimony that many of these families have been supported by you and, and you continue to actually uh, do the needful. Uh, I wanted to add my voice on our president uh, that, that the struggle is still on. We, are just, uh, we have just concluded our retreat as members of parliament, uh, the local government leaders and, 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 and uh, uh, especially mayors and district chairpersons uh, for, uh, 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 in Jinja. Indeed, part of our commitment and our resolve was to continue and to dedicate the positions we currently hold to persevere and, and, and continue with the struggle, uh, to, to continue with the struggle. And, and it's, it's indeed uh, among the resolutions that the leadership, including the president and others, will continue engaging the communities and reaching out to the communities, at which I think the president hinted on it, that it also reach out to the diaspora among others. But of course, locally here, uh, we, with all the limitation you must have had that even a vehicle he uses is now a suspect. And even, even, even for us as leaders, you, you, we, we are just missing suspects of the regime. The, we are, we are, everyone is wanted, uh, not because we are criminals or anyone is a criminal, and even those in detention are never and have never been criminals. They are in detention, they are in incarceration, they can't even access bail. You must have heard these colleagues who were arrested in Karangala, that after securing a bail in a, a civilian court in Masaka, they were rearrested and aligned in the military court. The military court even accessing it to a lawyer. I was in Machinde the last time uh, when court pronounced his telephone bail. I was in Machinde, but even as lawyers, among them, uh, most of us, we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are denied access to court premises. We, we imagine a situation where even access to defend a, a suspect is, is, is a result of the state. The laws are there, they, 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 they allow access, and, 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 and it is now very hard and complex for, for these suspects to even attain a court bond, I mean, police bond, or even court bail. This is the scenario and the status in Uganda. But indeed, most of these, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are caught amid this struggle, and, and, and indeed, their families uh, re remain wanting, remain, re remain uh, a, 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 not only in isolation, much as we try our best to reach out to them uh, or, 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 uh, uh, most of the time, but as, but as well, most of the support these fa families are, re are receiving is actually from, from you people in the diaspora. I, I, my, my call is to energize all of us. Locally here, we are, we, we are ready and we are pushing on and we shall use all our, our available efforts and means to persevere with the struggle. But of course, any Ugandan out there, we, we are proud of your efforts so far, but, but, the, but the struggle is just the beginning, even with the limitation. Democrats, I want to borrow the, 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 a theory of Kelvin. When I was at law school, one of the theories of constitutionalism they taught us is that when you begin a struggle, you either finish it or you are a suspect of treason. We cannot afford to deliver ourselves for treason. We must continue with the struggle to liberate our country. Our constitution has been overlapped. The grand norm has been overlapped. It's not, the, the state is now, it, 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 it is now working for, for, for Mr. Museveni. The, 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 the courts have been hijacked. Uh, local governments have been hijacked. It requires all of us as Ugandans, as per the, our constitutional mandate. You remain a Ugandan even where you are. And your mandate and role as a citizen to defend our constitutional order, to defend, to, to defend our country, to defend the values and, 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 and norms of our constitutionality as a country, it remain, remain, remain a relevant and, and an urgent consideration. I want to thank you and applaud you colleagues wherever you are. Let's continue. We can, we, we can, we can engage in, in disseminating information. We can engage in supporting families. We can engage in calling upon every, every person of goodwill, every person who believes in the rule of law, wherever, wherever you are. We believe you are doing a wonderful role. Locally here, we are trying our best, but, but I, I, I would want to add on my voice that the, the, the interruption by the internet interruption is deliberately being done by the state. I'm here in the children. We are trying. If uh, we, we are trying, of course, we are trying to see if we can we, we can chase away these trucks. But 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 we shall we, we shall continue doing our, our level best. Inter internet interaction cannot cannot uh, cannot stop us and cannot stop the country and the world. 
in, 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 in a necessary liberation struggle. So we believe the state fears, even, even, even minor efforts, even the voices of resent are feared. And I believe when we continue with, with, with the pushing and, and pushing on, we may, not, we may not share all here, but, but, as, but as well, all your role, the financial contribution, the moral support, the, the courage, and, and specifically these families of the detained. I would, I would say we can't know when those in detention will ever leave prison, but it's, it's our call to, 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 for freedom. We are calling upon the regime to release all these innocent Ugandans. They are not criminals, they are victims of a liberation struggle, and their liberation was constitutional because it was all about engaging in a political and electoral exercise. But we thank you, colleagues. The struggle continues. We shall keep on, we shall push on. Let, let's all involve all our efforts, be it financial, uh, be, be, be it moral, whatever you can you can engage in and we push on with the struggle but uh, 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 yes. as for us in Uganda here we remain steady we remain focused but we also we also bank on the moral support of of everyone and our joint and collective role both uh, Uganda is here and Uganda is wherever you are we thank you keep it up comrades thank you so much honorable uh madam kunyingi uh that's uh, your MP, is our MP, uh, our people MP, uh, NUP MP, with, uh, who has succeeded Honorable Chagulani in the constituency. Uh, we just ask you, all your M our MPs, uh, really to stand by our president, uh, but you are doing a very a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Uh, before we proceed to our fundraising, do we know how many people, do we know how many Ugandans are in prison, NUP uh, supposers are in prison now? Do we know them? I, I think maybe he's, he's, he's gone mute, but anyway, Honorable Nava, uh, can we proceed? That's one of our roles we can do towards the struggle. Uh, at this moment, I want to call upon uh, Ms. Dorothy Stewart, uh, she's the one in charge of the welfare at JR to worry them or her experience. Maybe when we know we are going to have to tell me to change what it means and what your contribution means towards the welfare. Uh, Miss Dorothy Stewart, could you please come in? And natural, uh, please, uh, finance secretaries, chapter leaders, go ahead and um, Post the bank accounts into the chat room. Move in the WhatsApp group. Zamu zomu chapters. I want to was a lot of banga. I want to talk about the tujja kuba tuwaita. In a few minutes, we will be teaching more from you. Yes, Dorothy Stewart, please. Yes, Honorable Dorothy. I thank you so much, Madam Moderator and Dr. Kasato. Thank you so much for the wonderful job. Am I audible? Yes, we can hear you clearly. Oh, thank God. Uh, my name is Dorothy Stewart. I'm the team leader, Greater Boston Chapter, and I'm the team leader, NUP Diaspora Welfare Team. Uh, briefly, this department came into existence shortly after the 14th January 2021 elections, which were marred by violence, obviously, as everybody knows. Uh, this team was created with the purpose of reaching out to our comrades in Uganda who have fallen victim of, uh, victims of the pre, during, and post-election violence of the 7th junta. Uh, this team, uh, the purpose is, was to extend the much needed help financially to enable these comrades access medical treatment and all other forms of help as we could uh, be able to extend. Uh, this program, has so far benefited lots of families uh, of our comrades back home. As I speak uh, about over 150 families, comrades have benefited. We have treated over 100 people with the various uh, forms of brutalization and uh, ailments. And uh, we have supported our families of those comrades in jails with the women with the children starving, uh, women who have been thrown out of 
their homes for rent and uh, those comrades who have been uh, their capital we are taken away like border borders their border borders were confiscated because these comrades had the uh, the farms uh, and whatever they were they had to run for their lives we have supported these comrades in all various ways we every now and then we reach out to our comrades in jails we take the much needed stuff and support like food and medication. As you know, the situation in our jails uh, is so deplorable. You know, uh, most of these people are sick, diarrhea because of, uh, you know, the nastiness of the situation. They get all kinds of uh, sicknesses. So our team uh, reach out to them with all various kinds of support. We have a noble team down on the gr ground who do our, who help us carry out this work. And we operate incognito out of camera because of obviously, obvious reasons, you know, the security of our, uh, uh, the insecurity in the country, our team operate out of cameras. We, are, do we have a wonderful team which help us to reach out to those people. We have reached out to people. Right now, we have over 30 people in hospitals with the different ailments. Uh, from broken limbs to failing internal organs due to injections of uh, dangerous chemicals of our comrades you have all seen. And we have all these mental people we have treated of their physical uh, uh, wounds, they get healed, but the mental uh, status of these people have really, especially the young people. We have comrades who are younger, as young as 17 years. They are already lost their mind. We treat them, but they don't know themselves anymore. So we reach out and help all those people for to rehabilitation, to uh, counseling, and all other forms of uh, treatment. We wouldn't do this, you people, without you, without your help. This is your project. This is your baby you started to, as a continuation of the exercise of liberating our country. We need to get into the new Uganda with all these comrades. We have to save whoever we can save. Unfortunately, so far since we started, we have lost one comrade, uh, Sabia, uh, Fabiano, after spending so much money on him, but God rest his soul in peace but we are still now trying to get everything together so that we don't lose no more. Dear comrades, it is my plea as a mother, as a comrade, as a fighter to all of you. We have great need. We need, after uh, helping these comrades medically and they get well, these comrades don't have where to go, where to go. They don't have no homes. Their families have been thrown out. They need rent. Most of these comrades don't have jobs. So comrades, if you can have a job, I know some of us have houses or have businesses or whatever, even if it is a farm, these young people can work. They can work to be able to take care of their families. They, we need homes for our jailed comrades. They are thrown out of their houses because they are renting, but we have nowhere to put their properties. I don't wanna mention names on this, but if you happen to have anything, be it one room in your home or behind the boys court or whatever you call it, please reach out to me. It can help to save a family from the cold uh, of being thrown out there and the embarrassment of our comrades who are very, very close to our president, but their houses, they're being thrown out of their homes. I can't mention names here, but I wish to thank all of you for your contributions. And I encourage all of you and whoever is listening to me to reach out to your representative, to reach out to your chapter leaders, throw in whatever you can for this cause. We have so many people who, are, who have benefited from this. We have paid rent. We have paid school fees, tuition for our children of the comrades in jail. Many of them were uh, candidates. Hmm. Ah. Balukunga na balusho balutambude. Ah, yonene biwa demu mo bitegede mo biwulide. Ah, President Ah Chagulani sent him. Robert Bobby Wine, uh, you get the call, Edi Vanna Uganda, Mwenaje Muli, uh, Wali Mudayasupla, Nawa e, e Uganda. 
mwenanga yogera ko je muri kunteka teka nga bwezili ezo kulaba nga enchine shingendo kutani kencha ate chimaliriza mwa mseveni chimumuza au mule mirembe walielwa achitula ate tugenenga tumuchalire ko nga tumubuza ko nga jaja fe yalwa wanenyo ate atwe kubigagu tulieko anengo mulamu oguliwo ncha inakuzumeza abili munana au mwezi gwa munana mwaka 2022 abili mwebili chiri mbalala era oye no ye press ye badenga press conference esemyeyo we rogera chakulanyo center mu bad boy no lusemyeyo nga agenda mbala agenda ku country tour a ebinaddako okuulirwa mu bilinde nga atuse mu state house a mulabye a buli omwa wadde ndoza e buli omwa wadde ya buze chibuzo chera president na bidam abyata zema afunye mko ka interruption katuno nyo mu network ate nabula na yenga ebisinga madam bitegedde atenga ino kubanga ali ku lugudo okulanga tu kembala no resho a uh, tina kwa tagana munsonge uh, nga au uh, mchala au mukulembeze oyasembe maliza watu gambye nti tina kubanga tulishimu okulanga tuyamba kuba nafe abali mu mbere mbi abasi bwaka abantu babwe abo abatibwa abo abali makomera uh, buli munayo ganda tino kubanga tukwasaganyiza wa uh, last struggle ndu musoloji maliza mirembe ate banafe abali mbulumi na watu babude bude tubaberedewo bali me kufilinga solonire bali me kufilinga nga aba aba vibwako toba abalwanira oberere sigalenga tube encouraging asigalenga tuliwa munabo nga tuba wesubi ate nafe tumanye ntino olugendo lucha none lutino okulwana okulaba nga tuchuso okulembeza bwanga Uganda gobo lye yongo limunanchu kachuka oyagala kulaba ku Uganda empya abintu bino byakolebwa mu mirembe alo yabuzize ekibuzo ntuma mu seven nga ine fujjo linji atuna solo ko yeserebye demento mujjako a president chagulanyi center mu robert bobwa ina kugamba nti ye ebye mirembe bisoboka era ne example na azikuwa na janga azikumenyera menyera mawanga je bibadde nga bawaliyo ba dictator ba nache malira abantu je bavude mu ne bekala kansa mu dembe tamalirizanga abadde uh, konga badiktata ate ntewe bajivudde naga mane Uganda chisoboka mwe mu 7 no badiktata bonaje bali mti bate kabantu kutisa tisa no batambuliza mu kutya buli kadde nga wabera mu kutya tinaye customer va mu kutya ne mwe goba mu kutyo oko ne mugamba no mofia tino kulanira nse ya fe abanache malira te batira kusula naga mantu katino no lwe lutabalo lwe baita sinzigu otwala mwa M7 tibuli muna Uganda joli chimanye nti twali ku chat twali kutitira twali uh, kugamba chintu chonna twali agamba yo wabula kulumba nalo okulaba ngate mwa M7 tumujja mwe entebe mwali ate bana Uganda ba from kulembeza omujja gobane yaga yo gobane londera anabuliriza anaba tambula nabo anaba omukakam anaba nga WHT we dembe lyo buntu atenga WHT ba banansi bakamabe demo ya musabe ni agamba sife bakamabe obula yimukama wafe ni webu zandi chitani kachitio ba kari kubafe tumusasula chemanya kusasula ya ba mukama au ati ya gala kufukwe fulanti no ya sasula feso nga fetu muo musala mumusolo gubatu jamu kari Hivi gambo hivi wadebi nyuvu, tuwe waza nyumu ina waetabia mkutesa kuno, mwena wabuzi hivi wuzo vya mwe, ansa, president azize, na buli ateseza, mwe wale wakulembeza venja ulo tusima nyo, tusimila dala, mwe wale umuka mabadi zeo, mwene wateka mwo ubude, nsimbi, mwene wateka mchoteka mwene, ukula nga struggle, sigale etambre, sigale gena maso, guato, singa. Atina bana bimba la mbagambe nchi tuja tuja. Hiranga timu ya singo mbunene ya tusede mbala la jeri. Hei, mbunena kuri ya luna kuru ancha. Mwanyu mwanyu mwusewe nesa chutewe tegese. Na atine chagula nye tegese runo. Kuwanga gama mwusewe na ina option. Biri west. Two, only two options. Either kuwa masasiti ya gasi mwana Uganda abate. Koti yensio nera girento ya kuatwe. Mumuteke mabusu. Mwana natolumba. Otuyambe kumusaji ya mtule tele. Chona chutwala mwa M7 bwa kuba masasi mu bekala kasa obaba agamba sija ba kuba masasi mu bekala kasa kambale kemu ekala kasa mirembe mugenda kumaliza nga mulimu state house entebe nena kasero mwa M7 nja kutaka kokola tonde kanyuma ai weyo bus paka rush tula atuleyo so zone ngeri zigenda kuba mwa M7 zona option za nasalao chakulani ya chibaze dance zistwa zisigala zitwala mwa M7 bwa salao kuba masasi afuruma basala obutakuba masasi afuruma so twali no way out ya mwa mu 7 esigaddeyo kujja ko kufurume gwanga Uganda ko wa president ente bajiwumule atagenda ajira alunda kunte myaka jali mu jaku 
ya kulonda ku nta kuda abuda nte za fe azira bidire jaja atugendeyo tunyo kututa tulye ku muzigo tulye ku shawe toyagalire wa jaja tubuke boka bazukuru so jaja wali tumulaba ko tumuje ko zino stress nyinge zo kulowoze ebinji ebinji ate bano bagenda kuba bomu abatuju ate bano bagenda kuba alushababu ate bano bayina ku besomero tubi muje ke jaja abere bulungi abere jine miaka jasi ya zai yunga umula kubulu nja abere bulu nja afuna kasavu kumutima nga kamutenge nja ulo kubali ne mirembe tumu jamu zi pressure ne stress ze chivubuka ati wa president kusana wavubuka wacha gulanyi ya wacha ina amanya aga looza aga kula shino na china shi ne president mwai musewe ni tumleke ajira umula fetu gende maso so geru tawa yosha gulanyi kwa liko utani kuru na kure nche sawe sika dembale kumuna uganda be ready chonacho sobele kula chikole Mumirembe ukula ngamai mu seven ada ira chitu la natula ai chakula ni sana wulubati bobo ai nala yir nsima nyo mbeba za nyo mwe naba da kumbali kubako mwe nsobe za saba chisonyo mwe nsonyo we yenze wa mwe mwe munde tawa non zija kuluwa mwe ukusolo kuwa buja wiche wifa wa fe uganda ate no kutambula no kumanya no kuongelo kwezi za mwa maanyi ai ai Kukwe na jaizi nge miti majafe, tuleme kuloza ntine bintu biya kuma biya guwa, wa tuleme kubela mchivululu, nga situma nye vichibi kwa ata kugwa nga liafe, nga situma nye vichibi bi limo nupu, nga situma nye vichibi limo people power, nga situma nye vichibi limo struggle. So, chindeta na nge na ama uje gano, galeta, okuongela okuwa za mwa mani, na okuwa la ganti, jetulaga, tuleengela yo, eda waliye bilu njivinji, maase yo, so, tutule yo, na usilika usilisi, ama so, nga shali kumchizigo, nsolo kuchizigo kweri, hila tusiala, tutambla, tulomba, tugenda maso na lo, kula wange guanga lafe tulitereza. Tuligamba shabana, nga bitulemi, okubile kira habana, fawate, habana wafibabu nebone, nga wetubo nyebone, neda. Tuina kuchie kolela, habana bafe, babi ya galilemu, anabali dao, babi ya galilemu, nga fe tuluanyi, ate mbilembe. Neba za nyomu ena, habawa ya kade, ni mbeda wana. Magizi ge mumpa nsima, haba nsima, nange mba sima, mbalaba comments nzila wanga mumsima, mbagala nyo bantu bange, mwe walinga kusima, nange mba simira, mbagala nyo 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 kusinga vyo na, mwaka makutunda ya baba mpanga aliza, one day, tuwerawe kumi Uganda mpia, sivu day, tunasinga na tembalala, mwe lava.